Hi, it's Craig Devlin here for fullmount.co.uk, live at Bama 7 with Frank Trigg. You just had your fight there. Hmm? Didn't go entirely how you were expecting? No, you know, not at all. I got, uh, I don't know what, the, I got to go back and look at the film. I'm not sure what Jimmy hit me with in the first round, but he hit me with one. I got stung a little bit, and I took a shot and got both my arms behind his leg, and then he slipped out, so I had to sit back and kind of go to garden and roll around a little bit, caught a couple elbows from underneath, blocked most of the stuff off, got my uh, breath back about me, and then got back up to my feet. Uh, but it was definitely rocked and definitely hurt in the first round. So I would say Jimmy wins the first round. I thought for sure that I won the second and third round, but one of the judges didn't see it that way. I mean, one judge did, and one judge didn't, and then the other judge didn't too. So yeah, that's how it works. Uh, were you impressed with Jimmy's takedown defense? Um, no, not at all, actually. Uh, hold on a second. How deep I want to get into this? I was, uh, I was, I was not really impressed with his takedown defense at all. Um, he didn't really have. Uh, too much skill with the takedown went into, but some of the tactics that he was using kind of fended me off and kept me off from, from getting inside and then how he did stuff. I mean, so on one hand, from a technical standpoint, I wasn't really impressed, but then there's some other stuff that was going on kind of behind the scenes and politically wise I can't talk about right now, but yeah, it wasn't, I wasn't real impressed with the takedown defense, but I was really impressed with how he approached the fight and how he kept it uh, on his feet the way that he wanted to keep it. He wanted to be on his feet and how if it was going to the ground, he's going to be on top. He made no bones about, uh, there's no way he's going to the ground with him being underneath. He's definitely going to be on top if it got that way. What's next for you? Um, I don't know. I was supposed to be back here and fight. Uh, fight was, this fight was supposed to fight Tom Watson for the title. Uh, Tom got hurt, and then supposedly he was going to be healed in December. But now with this loss, uh, Wallhead fights him in December for the title. So I don't know if I'll be back or not at all. So I have to wait and kind of wait and see what they say. Okay. Well, we hope to see you back. Enjoy Thank you. Your fight. Thank you. Yeah, well, I, I like England. You know, I like, I like being out here. It's, it's tough for me this weekend, especially to be uh, – away from New York, so I'm a New Yorker, especially September 11th, and I wanted to be in New York City with my family for the dedication, but I had a job to do, so I came over here, but it was nice to be in England, especially since you guys, you know, as, as not only politically, but military-wise and humanitarian-wise, you guys gave us so much support when it happened to us 10 years ago. You guys were kind of, you know, helped pushing us through to get, because you guys had worse stuff happen to you for, you know, for decades, so it was, it was kind of cool to be over here, too, and unfortunately, I couldn't be home, but, you know, I'll definitely take England as a second choice for sure, yeah. Well, thank you very much for your time. It's been a pleasure speaking to you, and we hope to see you back. Thanks, I hope so. I hope it'd be good to be back. I'd like to, but we'll see what happens. Thank you very much. Been thank Craig you. Devlin for fullmount.co.uk at Bama 7.